Hey everyone, in today's video I am going to be sharing my November favorites. I tried a few new things and I wanted to share it with you guys, those things that I really liked. And before I get started, I am going to share what I'm wearing right now. And on my lips, I'm wearing one of my favorite lipsticks ever and you guys probably already guessed it, but it's Relentlessly Red by MAC. I love it, it's electric, it's just perfect, I love it. So I'm wearing that and then I tried a new combination for my foundation which is why I'm like super glowy and what I did was I mixed my Makeup Forever HD foundation which I haven't talked about or used in ages but I had a bottle and it was time to break it out because I'm out of my face and body by Makeup Forever so I cracked this one open today and I'm shade 127 and then, yeah, I had an incident where I fell up the steps and it was really nasty because I broke my nail so horribly and it hurt so bad. It's finally to the point where I can, like, touch it and it doesn't hurt. <laughs> but um, it was really nasty. But hopefully I can get it fixed this weekend because it's been, like, a week and it's not cute. But, so yeah, anyway, back to the foundation. I mixed a pump of my Makeup Forever HD foundation with this Becca highlighter. This is their Shimmering, Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. So I mixed the two, and it gave me this J.Lo glow. And then um, on my eyes, I used the Naked Palette, which, you know, it was one of those things that I had to hide from myself because I would just rely on this but this is kind of like a favorite I guess because this was this HD foundation was an old favorite and then um, so the colors that I used were smog and then half baked in the center you guys already know I've done this like a million times or at least with different colors but the same concept so I used smog and half bake and then in the crease I used naked and buck so I just mixed that and I did that in the crease. And I also want to mention the first step, which is moisturizer. And this is a favorite. I don't know if I've mentioned it in a favorites video before, but it's the Embryolisse Light Cream Concentrate. And I think this is my third tube of this. This is amazing if you have dry skin and you have some problems with foundations that adhere to your dry patches and everything. So of course you need to exfoliate and take care of that. But if you're just having an issue where the you need more slip under your foundation, where you're using something that's heavier or you have dry skin, this is amazing. And this is like, um, it's a moisturizer slash primer. And if you love to glow and if you really want intense hydration, this is the product that you need. Look it up online. It's not something you can find everywhere, but... So many makeup artists use this. I mean, if you're a makeup artist and you don't have this in your kit, you need to stop what you're doing. You need to put your appointments on hold until you get this because this is like a must-have. So amazing, amazing. So I love that for that. And then also if, you're, if you have dry skin and you want more slip or you want to help your foundation go on a lot smoother, Fix Plus. Spray Fix Plus before you moisturize. Fix Plus on your brush. Fix Plus after you're done, and that's it. You will look fresh, and it's just amazing like what these types of products do, like Fix Plus or a setting spray like the Scandinavia sprays or the Urban Decay sprays, which is also by Scandinavia. It just like you have all these different textures and all these different products layered on your skin, and they just make it look like it all goes together. Okay, so I covered everything that I'm wearing, I think. Um, oh, these earrings. Okay, I love these earrings. They are ear jackets. And these particular ones are from Bobble Bar. And I'll post the link to them in the description box because the last time I wore them, I got a bunch of questions about where I got them. So if you guys want to get them too, I love this style. It's so funky and I get so many compliments when I wear it. So I will fill you guys in in the description box. Um, then, okay, so I bought this foundation with me to Dominican Republic. I was there in November, so that's a favorite. <laughs> Warm weather is a favorite for me in November. Um, and this is the Neutrogena Nourishing Longwear Makeup. 
this stuff looks so good and it stood up so well to the humidity because usually I can't wear any foundation or anything like that because it'll just look gross because it's just so humid that it just slides off of your face or it looks super cakey but this stood up to the test and the color that I wear is natural beige 60 so they did send this to me and I love it. It gives you like a demi matte finish. It's not hard and dry and you know not something that's going to make you look old. So I, I highly recommend this if you guys are looking for a drugstore foundation to try. Another favorite was this limited edition product that everyone's been talking about. It's the Bobbi Brown uh, highlight powder and the one that I got was Bronze Glow. Here it is and it's just a beautiful highlight and it's what I'm wearing today I'm wearing it up here so if you can track it down this is like the new whisper of guilt everyone's like dying over this and I do plan on doing a highlight and contour video because I have something in store for that but I will save it so um, I'm excited to get that together and then another product that I wanted to mention is the Inglot gel liner this stuff I know I hear horror stories it dries out very very quickly but it's so creamy and it's so black so I love it and I used it in my waterline and it actually stayed so I can't say that about eyeliners because I have super watery eyes so I tend to avoid doing like the inner rim I might do it on a video but in real life it just doesn't work out so I just don't do it but this I could actually get away with it so that sums up like my, my new kind of beauty favorites um, I'm almost all out of this this is the foundation I was talking about it's the makeup forever face and body I just have like a tiny bit left and this is my favorite I tried the Mac I was out of this so I said all right let me try the Mac again and see what happens but I don't know there's something that's like a little bit too yellow too green about this particular color I got C5 whereas this is like a little bit peach where I, I have yellow undertones but this is too yellow and then this is peachy but it worked somehow so I may end up just repurchasing this because this is just a little more travel friendly since it's plastic and smaller but you know I just should have stuck to my favorite so this is it and the color that I use in the Makeup Forever Face and Body is 32 and this I love I love face and body foundations because they're water resistant so it's like um, a tinted moisturizer that lasts a long time so um, I love doing that and then since it's very light coverage it really just evens out the skin tone then I go in with my concealer and then I set it with a powder foundation which is my MAC Studio Fix powder and I just love it I tried the Makeup Forever powder at the pro finish one went back to this I don't know what it is about this that I love and I use C35 in that and it just lets your natural oils come through so that you still have a natural looking finish and you don't look powdery so so if you like that look that's one thing but for me that's the look that I love I love doing this I like looking fresh and like you could just take a chip and just scrape my foundation off just kidding but you know I just like that fresh look so that's what I use to get that effect so yeah guys that's my favorites video I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed the little different angle that I gave to it I will leave links to everything that I mentioned in the description box I'll also leave links to all of my social media so if you're on Twitter Facebook or Instagram I'm vinyl blush on all of those so definitely follow me if you're there and if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching bye